This is the new Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV, which is the most eco-friendly big SUV that money can buy and the best-selling hybrid in the UK. Here is what you need to know about the 2017 model, which has benefited from a bit of a refresh. You may remember the Outlander was given a major update in 2016. Well, the 2017 design changes include a new shark fin antenna built into the roofline, a new silver paint job, silver roof rails, and some chrome accents. That means it still has all of the grace of an overweight arthritic hippopotamus then, but it does at least look fit for purpose. <laughs> Okay, so it looks the same, but Mitsubishi has been busy in other areas. The 2017 Outlander now gets an EV priority mode for all models. Hill start assist so you can avoid rolling back on a steep slope and an electric parking brake. All models can now use said EV priority mode, meaning you can drive to the shops on electric power alone, so not one drop of fuel is used. Unless, of course, the journey is longer than 33 miles, because that is the maximum range, a mile increase on the old car. And thanks to a boot of 463 litres with the rear seats up, you can go a bit mad with the shopping. Another new addition is the ability to charge the Outlander faster. Up to 80% of the battery can be juiced up in 25 minutes, which is five minutes faster than before. Okay, so it's not a huge difference, but it does mean less time twiddling your thumbs on that day you forgot to charge it the night before. Oh, Mitsubishi, you do spoil us. Well, Outlander owners anyway, because the 2017 model comes with a free home charging unit worth £279. That means you can top up the battery while you sleep, which is far better than running a multi-plug out of the living room window. The Outlander PHEV is a really big car and that 12 kilowatt battery makes it even heavier. So do yourself a favor and keep it recharged at all times because the fuel economy really suffers without the electric motor's help. Lazy people or those without access to a plug at home would be better off with the Outlander diesel or something else entirely. <laughs> Because of that big battery, the space that is normally used for making the PHEV a seven-seater has been lost, as well as some boot space. So those who want a hybrid and seven seats will need to look at the Volvo XC90 T8, but that costs at least 26,000 pounds more. It's cheaper to leave some of your kids at home, to be honest. <laughs> The Outlander PHEV lacks the same luxurious feel as the Range Rover and BMW X5, but it is still comfy and you can spend more to spruce it up a bit. With that said, you should avoid the 5H trim. Why? Because the government is about to charge cars registered after April 2017 an extra £310 a year for five years in vehicle excise duty. <coughs> Cough on nice things. But that's only if the car costs more than 40 grand which is what the 5H does. That brings us neatly onto the price stuff. A new Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV can be had from as little as 34,749. Spend 39,399 on the 4H spec if you fancy some more creature comforts. The aforementioned 5H is 43,899, so avoid it unless you really, really want a rear spoiler Alpine sound system and some extra USB charging ports in the back. Let's be honest, a Range Rover, Volvo or BMW will make the neighbours look twice, whereas the Outlander PHEV may cause them to close the curtains. But it does offer space, practicality and off-roading potential for not a lot of money, and one that, according to Mitsubishi, can do as much as 166 miles per gallon while breathing out a mere 41 grams per kilometer of CO2. Who says the school run has to be polluting, eh? Head to Rekombu Cars for our first drive of the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV and be sure to subscribe to Rekombu Cars YouTube channel for more where that came from. Thanks for watching, guys.